And I was like, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I, I feel you now. And she's like, no, 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 it's too late. What I found is that most people want to stay on the surface because it's hard to talk about things that are hard to talk about. And there's like three levels, right? You can talk about beer and pizza, you know, and sporting event scores. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just some type of relationships. And then underneath, there's other conversations which are about ideas that are hard to articulate. And then underneath of that, it's talking about personal experiences that are hard to articulate. So what happened in our relationship is that I was in the study mode, big time study mode of the science of psychology. And I had some early budding successes that were taking place. And essentially I was not watering the relationship and I was being selfish. And I really thought it was all fine, but it wasn't. We've been dating since high school. So one day she came home and she grabbed my attention and she said, as a friend, as your best friend, I'm telling you, this doesn't work anymore. I love you, you're a wonderful person, but I can't figure out how to be me in this relationship. And so I was like, holy, like that's the worst thing that a friend could say to you, like the worst. And I was like, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I, I feel you now. And she's like, no, 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 it's too late. Wow. Yeah, and so um, I re that was my cue, like I had to leave, right? Like out of kindness and compassion for the experience and she's feeling it deeply. And I wish she was here in this conversation because, because that, it, looking back, it was the richest, most intense thing that I've been through in the relationship. We hit rock bottom to your point. It was a month before we went back and had a conversation. And basically, she's like, I'm done. I said, let's give it a chance. Let, we've been together a long time. Let's just give it a chance. So we went to therapy. The therapist is across the, the, from us and she says, this, hold on, hold on. She says, this is as bad as it, I've ever seen it. And so she basically asked one really important question. She said, do you guys want to do the work? You need to work, Mike. Lisa, you need to work. Do you want to do the work with each other or with somebody else? And I thought to myself, oh my God. Oh my, but this is, if she says, I want, I want to grow, but I want to grow with someone else, this is the end of the relationship. And I, that was the moment. My heart was like, boom. And I knew that I couldn't go first because that was the problem, I was going first too much. And so that moment lasted, it felt like an eternity. And obviously she said, I want to do the work with you, but I'm not sure that I can trust you, that you'll do the work too. So we did some work. And so we're still married together, like it's great. Like looking back, I mean, the work, I, I would encourage everybody, anybody that, you know, in your community, like to do that intimate, deep work with somebody and have real conversations, the freedom is incredible on the other side of it. Like really incredible.